Yo, what's up guys, Mike Red Fox. In this video, I'm gonna show you the best settings and overclocks for mining Radiant on every 30 series GPU. Just in case you haven't seen it before, this is my test rig. It has every 30 series card, minus a 3050, and a couple RTX workstation cards on it. And right now it's been mining Radiant, and I've been doing a lot of testing, and let's get right to the results at the beginning of this video. So you're looking at my Hive OS right now, and you can see the mega hash and the wattage that I'm getting for every single one of these GPUs, and they're all running on auto fan right now to reduce the wattage a little bit more, except for two cards, which I'll get to later in this video. Maybe you can help me understand what's happening there. Please stay tuned. Maybe you can help me. But Looking at my Hive OS, these are all the results, days and days and days of testing, and we'll go right to the numbers here. For Radiant, you can see all the GPUs, and coming out ahead, looks like the 3090 Ti, again, just the surprise for me, and then the A4000 and 3070 is coming out really strong in the efficiency game. So uh, you need a mining software, of course, in order to do all of this. So the miner software that you're gonna need is BZ Miner, which is available for Linux, and available for Windows. Of course, it's available right now in Hive OS. So this is what I'm using, this is what I've been testing on. And to show you that, you can see the miner running right now. It's running for a little while. You can see all my accepted shares for each of those GPUs. You can see some of those efficiency numbers um, looking really, really good for these cards too. So let's move on to like the approach because it's maybe a little different than something that you've had to do before, even I've had to do before in testing some of these newer algorithms. So one thing you can notice over in HiveOS is I have nothing entered in. I have no power limits, no memory overclocks, no core offsets or core locks. In fact, everything that I found I had to do was put it all in the minor configuration itself. So I'm gonna go over to my flight sheet here, hit edit, set up minor config, scroll down, and you can see all my extra configurement arguments, uh, and we'll start talking about these right away. So you can see memory uh, is locked at 810. That's the rule, lock it at 810. It's gonna put the memory in like an idle state and reduce the amount of wattage that the GPUs are pulling. And then I'm gonna go to the core offset. You can see I have that 400. And you're gonna to wanna to see what your GPU's like. Three, maybe like 250, 300, 400. And the way you monitor this is you're gonna go over to Hive and you're gonna enter this command in. It's gonna be NVIDIA dash SMI dash Q dash D voltage. And as you do core offsets, you're gonna see the voltage of the GPU drop and just track this the best you can to see if the voltage of the GPU continues to drop, this is gonna save wattage, but not affect hash rate at all. And you can see my numbers here, if we go back to the hash rate testing that I did, I just was tracking the voltage in this far right column. Uh, and that's what these GPUs were able to get down to without losing any hash rate. Now let's talk about the core lock because I had to change it uh, quite a bit from other algorithms that, that I've been testing. And you can see I've actually bumped it up a lot if you watch my Flux video or you watch my Caspa video. And again, I have to enter that right into the mining uh, software here. If I enter the lock into HiveOS, it just didn't seem to work as well. And the core offset in HiveOS um, doesn't work at all with this miner. It doesn't reduce the voltage at all. So I had to put it into the actual um, extra config arguments here. So approach for the core locks, ah man, it's, it's tough. You can see like some of the higher end GPUs are a little all over the place. Like if you got probably <clears throat> any of the 3080 variants, maybe start at like 1500 and they go in increments of 15 up and down, you can see these went really, really high. It's kind of all over the place. There's really no rhyme or reason. Maybe if you have like the 3060 Ti's, 3070's, start at like 1470 and go up and down in increments of 15. Take some of these numbers and see what you get. I've seen other results from other people um, in Discord who use even different numbers than me and get some different results. So it just took a lot of time, but I found I had to go much higher than I was on uh, any of the other algorithms I've been testing. That is Caspa, Flux, Nexa. Um, I had to go much higher on the, on the core lock to get the best efficiency that I could. So I enter all of that into the miner, it's uh, configuration file itself. 
and then just hit save and then you're gonna be getting the most efficient hash that you can out of your GPUs. Uh, running auto fan, if you can, reduces the wattage just a little bit more. That's what I'm doing here, but I've mentioned in previous videos, when I do my testing, I lock the fans at 100%, so I know that variable is taken care of and I'm not like chasing myself in circles if the fan is um, altering its speed while I'm testing. So coming over back to the hash rate results again, you can see top performing cards, 3090 Ti is way up there. Uh, and then you can see the A4000 is also way up there. Now, the interesting thing that's happening, I don't know if anybody can help me with this, is you can see these uh, the 3090 and the 3090 Ti. And you can actually see the 3090 Ti has the fans not even running right now on auto fan, it just doesn't need it. But it pulls more wattage, according to the software, when I have it on auto fan, and the fans running, in this case, at zero, I'm watching them, um, versus if I run them at 100%. If I run those fans at 100%, I pull like 103, 104 watts for the same hash rate. If I put the fan on auto fan in HiveOS, it pulls about 10 more watts, according to the software, per GPU. And the 3090 pulls maybe like five more watts, uh, running the fans at a lower speed. I'm not really sure what the heck is happening there, but if you do, please let me know down in the comments section below. But I think that's it for this video, guys. I hope this helps you. Just continuation of my series, getting all the testing that I'm doing out to all of you so you can get up and running as fast as possible. Plug these numbers in. Look at what your profitability might be on websites like what to mine or MinerStat, and you can decide if this is something that you want to mine. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hit the like button if you did. Sub to the channel for more GPU mining content. Join my Discord if you want to chat. Links down in the description along with social media links as well. And as always, please take care of yourself, take care of each other, and I'll see you in the next video.